Hey guys, what's up? I'm gonna sit you right there. Uh, driving right now, I'll show you. This is downtown Chicago, man. I gotta go get a part. The supply house, uh, they gave me the breaker. But, and, and they sold me the panel. Here's a little bit of downtown Chicago. I don't know. It's a bitch driving down here, man. And I got the bucket truck, too. So, anyway. Um, sorry about my little... I shouldn't be doing this. Anyway. So, you know, so here's what happens. I order the panel from them. And then I order a... It's a 200 amp three-phase 208 panel. And then I order the breaker I need to feed this big ass coil, right? So, my main is 200 amps, and then 125 coming out of it. And then there's some other shit coming out of it. But anyway, so they give me everything except uh, this goddamn breaker doesn't fit. And the guy from the supply house goes, oh yeah, you gotta buy a kit to make that fit in there. And I was like, listen man, you know, I just bought all this shit from you, and uh, why wouldn't you have sold me that goddamn kit? You, you, I mean, did you think I was gonna engineer or make one myself? Because I, uh, you know, I just forgot. And I go, all right, that's fine. Can you send one down? Because I, you know, I, that shit, I, I get it all delivered early in the morning. But now it's later in the day. I'm like, hey man, I need that thing right now to finish this humongous job, right? Last thing of the job. And he goes, ah, you know, I, you know, I could get it there tomorrow morning. And I got, like, you know, CEOs and shit are there to sign off on everything so I can fucking get paid. And, uh, no, he wouldn't do it. He wouldn't send a truck out to do the delivery. So I have to, you know, drive this big-ass truck all the way through downtown up to Wrigleyville by, uh, Wrigley Field. It's, and there's probably a fucking game today which is nuts. But anyway, so I got to sit in this. It's going to take me, I don't know, an hour at least, hour and a half. And uh, and I'm pretty pissed, man. I mean, I, I just spent over 20 grand in material for that job, for sure. And, uh, and I don't know, I'm just pissed off, man. I'm, I'm going to tear this guy up when I get there. I can't wait. Like, I'm excited to go to the supply house. Because the guy I went through, I usually go to this other guy, George. But this guy, this kid was there, and George wasn't there. I'm like, yeah, all right, just take my order, man, you know. I don't go to the front. I go in the back and go right to, you know, the main guys. I don't go to the counter, you know. And then I always... Uh, I always tip the guys in the back that fill my order to make sure that it's correct and to get me the hell out of there, put me first on their deliveries. You know, I'll, I'll give them 50 bucks. Like, hey, man, lunch is on me today, guys. You know, order whatever you want. And uh, so anyway, uh, this new guy, this kid, he doesn't, you know, we got to get this guy in shape, man. <laughs> you know, you don't understand. You know, shit like that, you, you know, you mess something up like that, that cost me money, it cost me time, and you can't just be like, uh, fucking downtown, you know, hey, whatever, man, it's not my problem, like, you know, I'm gonna rip that guy apart when I get there, I can't wait, man, and, uh, and he's just gonna have to take it, because, uh, you know, I said so, I guess, I don't know, so I don't know what this video is, or what it's gonna be called, I just thought that I would share a little bit about what's going on, hey, let's talk about the farm, so today, uh, the last thing we needed was the goddamn, uh, was the, uh, the estimate, not the estimate, the appraisal, right, so it appraised that under, under what the guy wanted for it, and it ain't much less, but it's a little bit less. Let's see how stubborn this guy is. So anyway, uh, our only option to be able to do this, I mean, I would have paid that price. It's like, you know, it's not that much, you know, difference. But anyway, so our only option is to offer him what the appraisal is and he can take it or leave it. But here's the thing, that appraisal sticks on that property for 
pretty sure it's two years. So he's not going to be able to sell it to anybody for the price he wants. So uh, I might Chicago that guy too, I was thinking. Because it, it ain't that much money. Maybe I'll just say, hey, um, Clark, I got to turn it here. I might just say, hey, uh, you know, we'll buy it for that appraisal rate. And here's 10 grand cash, you know, and, and just shut up, take the money. <laughs> yeah, my, that's Chicago in the guy. You know, you put in an envelope and, you know, and everything's good. I'm thinking about it, but I don't know. Let's go the uh, the right way first and just make the offer that it was appraised at. And then go from there. I mean, there's other farms out there, man. But I'm telling you, I looked at probably 15 places so far, at least, in my comfort where I feel comfortable buying a farm, you know, I, I don't want to take out a million dollar loan, I don't want to, uh, I don't want to start in the hole, you know, so anyway, uh, uh, we looked at a ton of places, and this was the best one by far, the land was great, man, the house needs a little work, but a lot of those places, like, you know, I walked in and walked right back out, you know what I mean, like, okay, this house has to be torn down for sure. It's not salvageable, you know? I mean, if it's got pretty decent bones, I can work with it. I'll, I'll fix it up and do whatever she wants. You know, yeah, what do you want, an addition for a bathroom? I don't give a shit. But, uh, I don't want to have to go through that whole process of driving to friggin' Missouri and looking at five or six places, getting hotels. All that shit costs money, man. And, uh, I'm pretty pissed at my real estate guy. You know, he's like, oh, yeah, get the inspection. Everything's good. Just get the inspection, y'all. So I did. You know, I, want, I wanted to, the house. I already knew what I had. I actually pointed out shit to the inspector that he didn't even see. But he tests the water and the lagoon and all that shit and sends it out. And then here's the other thing. It's certified from him. It's not just me saying something. There's a record of that inspection, which, you know... I need, those are like bullets in my clip, anyway, uh, so, I don't know, man, I'm thinking just, okay, hey, listen, old man, here's 10 grand, okay, now sign this fucking paper, and we're done, you know, see you later, okay, have a good life, here's 10,000, you know, but, uh, I don't know, man, I'm gonna have to sleep on it, I, you know, I'm gonna offer him what the appraisal was, and see his reaction, the thing is with this old man, he's going to die soon and he knows it. That's why he's selling this farm. He just had open heart surgery and shit and I guess it didn't go good. And he flat out told me I only have a couple of years left. So I don't know, man. Uh, we'll see if the guy wants to play ball, you know. That's uh, kind of where I'm at with that. Because listen, man, I mean, not just the time and money I've invested in trying to find this place. And I mean, it, it, it's kind of a bitch, man. You know, it, it's not like I just drive right over there and look at it. No, that's not it and go home. But, I mean, the hotels and just, you know, dealing with all the shit, man. That's worth it to me. I don't want to have to do that shit again, man. You know, it's, uh, it's a pain in the ass. But uh, that's where I'm at. And, like, so, 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 like I said, there's the, uh, I'm fucking cruising right now, man. Anyway, so I'm kind of, you know, I'm kind of out of downtown where I'm at, but this is still, you know, Chicago, I've, I, I did work in that building right there, um, all I did was went in there and said, yes, this is a 100 amp panel, I guess they just needed the paperwork, and I'm like, is that it, and they're like, yeah, that's it, so, uh, you know, 185 bucks, thanks a lot, you know what I mean, but, whatever, but the emotional part of all this, man, Living in this city will, will take years off of your life, and it is, you know? I, come on, you mother... Let's go, come on. Let's go. Yeah, be bright. See, people will be driving, and, and they just stop in the middle of the road and just start talking to somebody, you know? And, and, and this guy, like... I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I gotta get out of here. Uh... But having that place, man, is going to make me so much... It's going to make me a nicer guy, you know? Because it's like I'm in purgatory right now, but I know I'm... It's like, you know, 
it's like I'm in prison right now, but I know I'm getting out soon, you know what I mean? And uh, without that, it's like, man, all hope is lost, you know? Uh, it's fucking stressful, man, you know? And I'm killing it right now with work, which is awesome. And I'm just thinking, like, all right, so maybe I'll get the $30,000 you know, steel building, you know, I don't know, I'm looking at maybe putting it, if I did get this place, probably, I don't know, probably 40 by 60, maybe 40 by 80, uh, concrete pad and half of it, you know, that'll be the shop and where you can work in your equipment, uh, minimum 14 foot overhead doors, so, you know, whatever, a lot of the shit I can do myself, but I'll just buy that kit and erect it myself, or, you know, see what the price is just to build the goddamn thing. You know, I would sub out the, uh, to let it degrade everything and put the pad down beforehand. I'd sub that out. That's too much work for me and another guy or whatever. But I've been rambling on long enough. Uh, I don't even know what this video is. It's just ranting and raving, man. I don't freaking know. And, uh, you know, if any kids, hey, I gotta go. That's a call from the bank. We'll see. Comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to.